Hey guys, remember Sarah? Remember we showed her how to print? Well, uh, she came downstairs and didn't ask me what filament she was grabbing and grabbed an old roll of PLA here. And if I can get the end of it here, guys, I'll show you what I mean by old. So when PLA is old, it just snaps. And I guess that little section see here is not bad. It's not breaking. But that little bit in the front had moisture in it. And she broke it off and jammed the hot end. I'm gonna teach you guys how to correct this problem today. So the first step, we're going to take our 8 mil and we're going to loosen this push fitting off. But let me show you why. You can see the filaments broke inside there. Now just to make things a little bit easier, we'll take this right off. Once you loosen it, you're able to thread it, pull out your little clip here. Just makes it easier to take it off. You can see it's completely jammed inside there. We sell these things called extruder cleaners. So I'm just gonna take this and push that little bit of filament that was in there out. So now we'll go ahead and turn on the printer. She has been using it a lot since the last video, guys. So we'll go ahead and see if the printer's actually jammed or not. So basically what you wanna do is not always necessarily if your roll's been sitting around, it's dead. Sarah had maybe two feet of it that was completely brittle. But if you look now, well, maybe it's still brittle in sections, but no, see here? Got to bend it back and forth. See? It's not snapping. It's not snapping. Just make sure you can pull out a foot or two of it. Look at that, not snapping. So this roll is still good to use. You just cut off the bad stuff and continue on. Sometimes a dryer can actually help with this. If your filament's snapping, you can go ahead and dry it in a filament dryer um, for a few hours, maybe say five to six hours. Now, if it's still snapping afterwards, the PLA is no good anymore. Um, it's just, it's because it's cornstarch and uh, yeah, it's not really like PETG or TPU or something where you can dry it out like nylon. If it's been sitting around for a year, it's gonna be soaking wet, but if you go ahead and dry that, you know, for about 24 hours, you'll be able to print with it again. Whereas if PLA was sitting out for a few years, guarantee it's not gonna be able to be printed with again. I'm gonna push a little bit of filament through and then try and pull it out. And it looks like we're out of luck and it's broken inside the tube. I'm gonna try and feed this through. So the printer's actually not jammed at all. It was just bad filament. So it's best that we push out all the stuff that was in there. This is how you can tell that filament, that printer is not jammed. So everything's still good in the hot end. We'll just push the remaining bit out. So guys, just be careful. Check your PLA before you use it. You don't want to have it, you know, start printing and you go to bed and then it's made a mess or caused a bigger problem with your 3D printer. I'm just making sure that I get all that filament out. Or you could just set it back up, feed new filament in, have it hooked back in and feed new filament in and then just um, extrude, say, 300 millimeters. Okay, and now when I pull back, I can feel that it's, it's actually at the nozzle. I'll pull out quickly. I'll reinstall the push fitting, tighten it down a little bit, and now Sarah can use her printer again. She's mm -hmm. all ready to go. So now Sarah's ready to use her 3D printer again. So guys, just always before you start printing, make sure you check and see if your filament bends, like so, or if it snaps. If it snaps, don't print with it. 
All right, guys, I know this wasn't a very long video, but it was just something I wanted to bring to everybody's attention. Maybe you're new to 3D printing and it's broke off like that and you're a little hesitant on what to do. Now you know all you gotta do is take out the push fitting and follow the steps I showed you in this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you really liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.